This is the first human rights training workshop organized by the newly appointed NCD Superintendent Operations Commander, Pero Dreno. Here, officers were given a rundown on the various human rights conventions PNG is a signatory to, but more significantly, they were reminded that our constitution provides for the protection of life. I want to give the assurance to the public that we're doing everything we can. But my action plan are based on the um, metrics strategies. So you have the strategies, I am to implement those. Yes. And I said, for example, if police brutalities, my action plan is to do training on uh, police brutalities. If a uh, discipline, okay, my action plan is to deal with, uh, which is one of the things I gave you on my media, uh, so is uh, level training to ensure that discipline is on the Commander Dreno told the law enforcers there will be no excuse for violations of human rights and freedoms of the public. Any violation of human rights will be met with tough disciplinary action and criminal charges. In one of the exercises, the officers were told to list down how they would address situations pertaining to arrests. Most of the time we neglect to fail to inform them the constitutional rights and detain them in the cell one officer thought a change of tone is often the best tactic to use if offenders don't respond well. It's hoped there will be an improvement in police attitudes when executing their duties. The workshop will continue tomorrow and will ultimately reach out to 900 officers in NCD. Meredith Kusa, National MTV News.